Do you know in Python language we can declare variables in three different scopes local scope global scope and non local scope and a similar concept applies in other computing languages as well now you must be thinking why i'm talking about computer languages in this aws video well because there is a similar concept in aws cloud computing as well confused stick around in this video and you will understand everything hello and welcome back to the tech blackboard in the last episode i promised to take some questions based on different scope based on which amazon services can be categorized so let's begin today's episode with questions based on the same and i will also share some aws official documentation so that you can understand the concept in more detail and also validate the answer so let's begin so here comes the first question for today question number 96 part 10 The question says choose the correct scope on which AWS services are divided. Your options are option A zonal services, option B universal services, option C seasonal services, option D regional services and lastly global services. Now let's check out what are the correct scopes. The first one is zonal services and the second correct option is option D regional services and lastly we have global services. Here comes question number 97 that says which are the services that AWS has built on top of multiple availability zones so that the customers do not have to figure out how to make best use of zonal services and your options are zonal services option B is regional services and option C is global services so i think this is a easy question you can already see the zonal services in the question so what is the correct answer well it is option B regional services so this one my friend was just to confuse you do not get carried away by the zonal services mentioned in the question the correct answer is regional services let me take you to the documentation so this is the official documentation where you can validate the answer here you can read on the very first line that regional services are the services that aws has built on top of multiple availability zones so that customers do not have to figure out how to make best use of zonal services so this validates our answer let's move on coming to the question number 98 question says that which service is one that provides the ability to specify which availability zone the resource are deployed into your options are once again zonal services regional services and lastly global services and the correct answer for this question is option a zonal services so here is the validation for the question here you can read a zonal service is one that provides the ability to specify which availability zone that resources are deployed into moving on with the question number 99 it says which services have their control plane hosted in a single aws region while their data plane is globally distributed your options once again are same zonal services regional services and global services and the correct answer for this question is option c global services so now my friends here comes the question number 100 century for all of you congratulations for good learning let's read the question question says that amazon ec2 and amazon ebs are example of which type of service your options are zonal services regional services and lastly global services and the correct answer for this question is option a zonal services and you can validate the answer on the very same documentation here you can read availability zone independence enables aws to offer zonal services such as amazon ec2 and amazon eps now let's change our focus and take some other type of questions question number 101 says that which of the following are pre packaged scp and aws config governance rules for security operations and compliance that customers can select and apply enterprise wide or specific groups of the account your options are an organizational unit option b is aws manager account and lastly aws control tower and the correct answer for this question is option a an organizational unit moving on to the next question question number 102 says choose design principles for operational excellence in the cloud you have to choose two correct options your options are perform operations as code option b is enable traceability option c is make frequent small reversible changes option d is test recovery procedures and lastly go global in minutes and the correct answer for this question is option a perform operations as code and the second correct option is option c make frequent small reversible changes time to validate the answer here you can read there are five design principles of operational excellence in the cloud the first one is perform operations as code second one is make frequent small reversible changes 
Third one is refine operations procedures frequently. And fourth one is anticipate failure. And lastly, learn from all operational failures. So please learn all these five design principles. You never know out of these five options, which one you will get in the exam. And with that, let's jump on to the question number 103, which says which of the following are design principles according to the performance efficiency? You have to choose once again two correct options. Your options are use serverless architectures. Option B is adopt a consumption model. Option C is experiment more often. Option D measure overall efficiency. And lastly, stop spending money on undifferentiated heavy lifting. Let's check out the correct answers. The first one is option A, use serverless architectures. And the second one is option C, experiment more often. And with that, question number 104 is now on your screen. And you can read which of the following are design principles according to sustainability. Once again, you have to choose two correct options. Your options are use serverless architectures. Option B is adopt a consumption model. And then option C is establish sustainability goals. Option D is measure overall efficiency. And lastly, use managed services. So now let's check out the correct options. The first one is option C, establish sustainability goals. And then we have option E, use managed services. And here comes question number 105, which says, which of the following are design principles according to reliability? Choose two. Your options are automatically recover from failure. Option B is adopt a consumption model. Option C is establish sustainability goals. And option D is measure overall efficiency. And lastly, we are given with manage change in automation. So what are the correct options? Let's find out. The first one is option A, automatically recover from failure. And then we have option E, manage changes in automation. So friends, there are six key pillars or design principles in AWS framework. The first one is operational excellence. The second one is security. Then we have reliability. We also have at number four, performance efficiency. At number five, we have cost optimization. And lastly, at number six is sustainability. And what can I say? You should expect a lot of questions from these six design principles in the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. And also, my friends, do you see this small like button here? There is a similar like button in your YouTube as well. Please, in case you like our effort in bringing all these well-researched questions to you, it really helps us to grow and reach more audience, more AWS learners just like you. And also, my friends, in case you're also learning Microsoft Azure, we have a wonderful video with 765 questions on AZ900. And not to forget, my friends, we have just launched a series, real exam question and answer series on AZ104, one of the most demanded and prestigious certificate in Microsoft Azure. So in case you, your friends, your colleagues are learning Microsoft Azure, please share these videos with them. The links are available in the top right corner and also in the description box. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon to receive the timely notifications. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.